Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for March 29, 2023, the SBF charged with FCPA violations edition. And we begin with that story from the Wall Street Journal as FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried, Fried rather, SBF himself, was charged with bribing a Chinese official. The U.S. indictment alleges that he paid $40 million to regain access to more than $1 billion in frozen cryptocurrency. The indictment alleges that in 2001, he authorized bribing of one or more Chinese officials of, um, with, as I said, $40 million in cryptocurrency to regain access to companies' accounts that China had frozen. Um, this is really bad news for F. BF, SBF, and um, it could put, uh, I mean, he's in for a long jail term. Next up, from Reuters, the newly fired Fox News producer who says she was pressured into lying in her deposition in the Dominion case says that um, she will um, uh, recant her testimony because it was coerced and that she will testify for Dominion in their lawsuit. Interestingly, she was fired when she tried to uh, amend uh, the incorrect statements she made in her deposition. So Fox News has a huge problem on their hands uh, with this uh, witness, and it may make for some interesting reading going forward. Next up, from AP, um, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen affirmed America's commitment to enhancing corporate transparency in this week's Summit for Democracy. She said that uh, beneficial ownerships will be made public, and despite the fumble steps by FinCEN so far, that the U.S. is still committed to this. And our final story comes to us from the New York Times, as prosecutors in France raided some of the country's biggest banks in a big tax sweep. It includes Societe Generale, BP and Paribas, as a part of a multi-country investigation into one of the EU's biggest tax thefts. So uh, rarely do you see the French go after tax thieves, but more than 150 investigators and 16 local magistrates swarmed over Paris headquarters of these banks in an early morning action intended to gather evidence for an investigation on tax avoidance scheme, which bank the banks allegedly built the French treasury out of vast sums. So kudos to the French for uh, cracking down on tax cheats in a broader uh, EU effort. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.